This is a case of a huge 10 cm uh, uh, left marginal myoma. And uh, we will do a uh, standard laparoscopic myomectomy with uh, previous uh, vascular control. Due to the cervical ischemic uh, position of this myoma, and uh, for a better uh, vascular control, we prefer to control both internal iliac artery than uh, the uterine artery. Because if you control the uterine artery at its origin, you have a good control on the uterine corpus, but a bad control on the cervical ischemic level. And for that, we prefer in this huge myoma with the cervical ischemic repercussion to uh, control the uterine, the internal iliac artery before its uh, utero umbilical trunk. You can see we discover the internal iliac artery lateral to the aorta, and you can see the utero umbilical trunk just above our device, and we can now clip with absolutely no urethral danger this hooch artery for a good uterine devascularization. You can see the clip is placed just before the umbilical trunk. We will do the same on the right side. We open for that the peritoneum lateral to the IP ligament. We can use the harmonic, or we can use the monopolar needle and section cover. After grasping and pulling in the right IP ligament, we develop the retroperitoneal space, which is an avascular space, and we try to find our classical landmarks, which are medially the yurt, you see we reach the aorta easily and we have just by movement and traction and contraction to develop the space lateral to the aorta which is the lateral pararectal fossa or lattice space and we can now pull laterally the vessel and we can see both uterine and umbilical artery and we decide to put our clip just below these two arteries. It's important during this step to lateralize the aorta, to medialize the aorta. So now our vascular control is done and we will begin the myomectomy. We use for that a monopolar needle and we will do a longitudinal hysterotomy. And our goal is to reach the myoma and to cut the pseudocapsula surrounding the myoma. As you see, even the myoma, it's a very huge one, it's a 10 centimeter cervical ischemic position, the bleeding is quite acceptable. As you see, we cut till we reach the mind. Now it's time uh, to use the monopolar needle to cut completely the pseudocapsula and progressively we can reach our Myoma, and we will grasp the myoma with uh, 10 mm forceps and by a movement of traction, contraction, we use the aspirator to clean our operative field. We continue to open the pseudocapsula with the monopolar hook and section color. When we find the plane between the healthy myotrin and the myoma, we 
began to remove this myoma from my sibling inside this bed. As I said before, it's a huge 10 centimeters away from this bed. And for mechanical reasons who have the experience for this kind of myoma, they know that this child by myoma are very uh, hemorrhagic. So, in my opinion, the vascular control of this kind of cervical it is mandatory to do the procedure in as long as is possible of the condition. It's important as well to deliver the energy on the myoma and not on the healthy myoma tree. And if you find the right density of the myomectomy is quite fast and quite bloodless, even the myoma is a good one. And even the localization of the cervical cycle area. We don't lose time for the homeostasis, any treatment homeostasis. We prefer to ensure the homeostasis by stitching. We use for that a picture one, 14 mm needle, and we will put our stitch lateral. Scar. That allows us to imagine it, the healthy biometry inside the myoma. And this maneuver is uh, really efficient to decrease the postoperative bleeding, the postoperative hematoma, postoperative fever, and with this technique, we have a really strong scar that allows us to accept later on the vaginal delivery. As you see, double flat knot, we close the knot, we imaginate the tissue, and we can close <laughs> this knot in the same technique. So for this uh, 10 centimeter myoma, four or five knots are sufficient. We put another knot one centimeter below the previous one and two or three centimeters outside the uterine scar. We put the stitch deep in the myoma bed. And at this level, take care not to put inside or stitch the ultra. Sometimes it can be closer than we think. We prefer to do interrupted suture than a running one. In my opinion, we have a better homeostasis with this kind of suturing technique. Double flat knot. We tie the knot till there is a blank shield, as you see, and we imagine the tissue. And as you see, we don't use the bipolar pottery for doing the hemostasis. The stitch are the only structure used for the hemostasis. We continue with the same knot below the previous one and now we do the knot on the cervic, cervical area and uh, for doing this kind of uh, challenging myomectomy it's mandatory to have a uh, good knowledge for laparoscopic suturing technique to win time and this procedure is uh, done in one half. Same technique as you see, the consistent invaginate the tissue and we lock our knot. You can see how the anatomical construction is good.
how to do another knot lateral to the previous one because when the myoma is a good one like this myoma sometimes we put another knot to invaginate more the tissue inside the myoma bed and the secret of this suture is to go as lateral as possible to have um, as important invagination to my own tumor inside the myoma bed. You can see we use always the same technique, double flat knot, intracorporeal knot. The technique we tie the knot till there is a myometrial energy. That means that we have a good hemostasis. And you can see that there is no area with no peritone. So this technique decreases the risk of postoperative adhesion. So the myomectomy is done. It's time to do the oscillation. We use a 15 millimeter oscillator and we put this oscillator in the left iliac fossa. And it's mandatory to close this operative troca with the uh, stress needle fascia clover to decrease the risk of uh, postoperative incision and error. So, this is our uh, technique and tip and tricks for doing the challenging myomectomy. This is the final aspect of the surgery. The clip I let in place. I hope this video was interesting for my colleagues and thank you for your attention.